Hey, I'm Jess and I really like picture book biographies. I think they're interesting to read and I also think they are a fantastic teaching tool. Anytime you're talking about anything in history, if you can read your students, elementary, middle school, and high school, a biography, you're giving them a person to connect with. And biographies are history. When we learn about somebody's life, we learn what the time was like around them. So when I was browsing at the library, I saw this book and it's called Child of the Flower Song People, Luz Jimenez, Daughter of the Nahua. And I had to pick it up because I recognize those illustrations. One of my faves, Duncan Tonatiu. I love his illustrations. They are always gorgeous and they're just, his books tend to be fantastic. So when I see that name, I'm picking up the book. And it was written by Gloria Amescu. And Gloria Amescu learned about Luz Hernanez and she just found her fascinating and knew she needed to write this book. So the story starts out and we find out that she's a member of the Nahua and they are an indigenous people that connect back to the Aztec times. And so you see what her life was like originally. So she's learning all these different skills and all these um, just things that she's curious about and things that are part of her cultural history, things that her people have figured out. And she absorbs it all in. She loves the folk tales. It's just, it's her life. It is a connection that she feels very strongly. But then one day, the government decides that everyone has to go to school and they have to become quote unquote modern. And so they need to speak Spanish instead of their native language. They have to dress in ways that they consider appropriate. And it really reminded me of the things that the United States government had the um, Native American tribes in America do where you're trying to crush out a culture by removing kids and making them learn that this is the right way and not allowing them to have that main connection to their past. And yet somehow she manages to hold on to it. She remembers her people. But then the Mexican Revolution hits, and along with her mom and her family, she has to flee to Mexico City, which just is such, just such a change from her small village. But somehow she becomes this highly sought after model and all of these really famous Mexican artists who decide we're not painting what the Europeans think we should, we're painting Mexico and Mexican people, people like Diego Rivera, they use her as a model. And so she becomes just highly sought after. She becomes someone that they want to paint and they want to paint her as she is and they want to paint her showing the novel ways. And what this leads to her is connecting with scholars and eventually becoming sort of like their guide. So she is this living connection, this living link to the past and to the present because she speaks the language, she knows all the traditions and she wants to teach because more than anything, she always wanted to be a teacher and they just never let her do that. So she shares, she shares her language, she just shares everything she can and what an amazing gift to give. And what I love is that our book ends with this water fountain, and this is based on a true real water fountain and just um, children looking up at it. How neat, and then look at the cloud up here. In the back, there's a fantastic author's note, please read it, and there's also a fantastic illustrator's note, please read that. One of the things we find out is that Duncan used specific artist um, paintings and works as his inspiration for certain pictures in this book, so wouldn't that be fun? You could look up those pictures with your students, with your children, and then compare them to the pages. You could look up lots of different artwork by her and take a look. You could have a chance to talk about people like Diego Rivera. So this would be so useful in so many different ways, and also, just to learn about Luce because wow, what an amazing woman and what a gift she was able to give by preserving her heritage. Child of the Flower Song people.